Well, hello, hello, everyone. Oh, covering Dan, I'm covering Dan. All right, guys, welcome to Upper Body Strength Day. I've got Coach Kelly. What's up? <laughs> and Coach Dan with me. I'm coaching today. I get to torture them today. <laughs> All right, so this is our buffer time. We're gonna wait for everyone to join us. So we'll give them about three, four minutes to join us. In the meantime, get that body warm. Kelly's doing some high knees. You got Coach Dan doing some windmills, some torso twists. Do what you gotta do if you wanna follow either one of them. That's fine if you have your own warm up ritual, just as fine as well, right? But get that body moving. So. I got, I hope you guys had a good workout yesterday, Imam. I don't know about you, but I am sore from that workout. Um, so today's gonna be extra tough with that tricep and your lats and shoulders a little bit sore already, but no worries, we got you covered, all right? So Kelly's doing some fake jump ropes here. Do what you gotta do, huggers. We'll wait another two minutes or so, and we'll get started. Guys, if there's anything that we can do to make your experience, your virtual experience better, let us know. We are here for you. All right. Let's get it. Yeah. How are you guys feeling today? Feeling great. Yeah. Coach Dan's like, yeah, I'm sore from yesterday. <laughs> from that lower body strength workout. Okay. So we'll give it another minute and then we'll get started. Also, when the weather permits and it's nice outside, we want to bring boot camp or some kind of activity outdoors, all right? So if you have any ideas, whether it's some kind of sport, you know, a small gathering, maybe we'll each have like a small group, we'll meet outside, or there's hiking, softball, whatever it is, we'll try to get out there. Maybe a true hit and run outdoors, I don't know. So we're, we're gonna brainstorm, um, and we want your feedback as well, all right? So, just about 30 more seconds, we'll get started. I'll give you all the intro for today. Keep moving though, keep moving. Also, you're working from home, so your kids can join you, your significant other, get a friend. Maybe you can do Google Hangout or Zoom, all right? You can see each other work out virtually or invite them over if you can, uh, but still keep it safe, right? Cool, all right, let's get started, guys. We've got upper body strength today. Same format, we've got five stations today. All right, two exercises at each station, 36 seconds on, 10 seconds off. All right, remember there's a 30 second transition from station to station, so you do have time to sip a little water, you know, maybe shake out your upper body and whatnot, but we're gonna be going today, all right? So watch them, they're gonna be warming up, so if you need some ideas for a warm up, you can follow Kelly or Coach Dan, but right now, I'm gonna show you what we have going on today and demo everything for you, and then we'll get started. All right, so station one, we've got an upper back press. All right, so we're gonna get low. Go ahead, Kelly. We're gonna get down on the floor. He's going to flare his elbows out a little bit, and then he's gonna drive his elbows down and pinch his shoulder blades as hard as he can, activating that upper back, right? That upper back should be lit up, the rear delts, the long boys, everything up top. See that second or two hold up top? You want that, that's peak contraction right there. All right, perfect. That's your back press. All right, second movement, he's gonna flip around. We're gonna do a high-low plank, right? So he's in a plank position, all right? So that right now he's in a low plank position. Now he's gonna switch to a high position by going on his hands and then just alternating hands to elbows. Hands to elbows, all right? Modification, you can go on your knees but still drop that hip. Right, he's dropping his hips. His shoulder is aligned with his elbow. Keep your joints aligned so you protect your shoulders, right? The core is engaged, right? So that's station one. Station two, we've got reverse snow angels. Dan's coming up, continue warming up, follow Kelly. All right, so reverse snow angels. You're on your belly, right? Your hands are straight ahead of you and you're going to reverse that movement. So the thumbs will be pointing at each other at the bottom, right there and then also at the top, all right? He's engaging everything in the back right now. His lats, his back, his delts, glutes, hamstrings, fire it up, all right? If you need to take a break, come back up, put everything back down, relax, and then pop back up, all right? That's your modification for each round. If you can, 
hold it up the whole time, all right? You see his neck is neutral, he's looking down, he's not cranking his neck, all right? Everything in the back should be lit up. So that's your snow angel. And then second movement here, plant push-up release. This is a hard one. This requires uh, wrist mobility. He's going to turn his wrist out, so his thumbs faces out, and his fingers are pointing downwards, okay? And he's doing a push-up that way. So right now he's activating his triceps and biceps at the same time. That's the point of this workout, right? So modification, first one, turn one hand out, one hand back so you get more stability. So one hand is facing up, the fingers are facing up, and then the other one is facing down. That's your modification. Second one, right, is gonna be on your knees. Less weight, so maybe you can try this. Yep, there you go, his, both his hands and fingers are pointing down and he's doing his push-up. You can do a push-up release as well, Dan. Push-up release, boom, right there, coming back up. All right, make sure your elbows are right underneath your shoulders, all right? So that's a couple of versions you can try. When in doubt, you don't, if you're not comfortable with this workout, just do a push-up release, regular push-up release, okay? Normal, but that will challenge your biceps, all right? All right, moving on, station three, Kelly. We've got pike to shoulder taps. You can turn sideways, yep. So start in a plank position first, then he's gonna walk his feet up, yep, and then he's in a pike position right there. Booties up, legs straight, knees are not bent. Right now, his shoulder is right above their hands, connected. Now we're gonna do shoulder taps, alternating shoulder taps. Good, the core is drawn up by sucking in that belly button. Good, make sure you're on your palms if you can. Good, right, modification. Come down into a plank position. Booty high, core is lifted, and you're just gonna tap, all right? No need to go in the air if you don't have to. Um, that's your modification. Also, you can go to your knees as well and tap your shoulders. There you go, perfect, awesome. Thank you, Coach Kelly. All right, second one, we've got doorway bicep row. So I'm gonna switch the camera over here. So right now, find a doorway or a wing wall where you can Grab your hand across and over, all right? He's going to lean back, open up his chest, and bring his body straight into the wall, all right? So the point is to contract his bicep. So right now it's stretched, and now it's shortened, all right? You wanna do a bicep curl with the wall, with your weight, all right? Right there, he's opening up his chest, and he's closing it by shortening that muscle in his arm, okay? Halfway, when I say halfway, we'll switch sides, all right? So just go on the other side, and then do it on the other. Yep, the other side right there. He's bringing his body in, shortening that muscle right here. Yep, so open up your chest and then close it. All right, you just wanna work on their bicep, right? That's your arm. All right, thank you, Kelly. All right, station four. Let's get back into Coach Dan here. We've got doorway, oh yeah, doorway row, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Door so same thing, find a doorway, find a wing wall, now, you're not opening your body, you're just trying to get that elbow to the back, right? You're rowing, so you're pinching your shoulder blades back and you're bringing your elbows back behind midline. Right now, his lats are activated, all right? This is a harder version, you can show him that easier version, stand up tall only. You have less weight right here, so stand up taller, less range of motion, but you wanna keep that elbow close to your body, right? It's not flared out, it's almost brushing against his rib cage. All right, now show that harder version, drop low, drop low, yep. There it is, focus on driving the elbow back, getting your body to the wall and pinching your back, all right? So one exercise is just one side. When I say switch to the other exercise, it's the other side. All right. Last but not least, we've got an L-sit cage escape, Coach Kelly. This is gonna work your triceps, so he's gonna have a seat, right? And then he's gonna get his hands down by his side. Scoot that way a little bit more. There you go. And he's gonna just drag his body across the floor. Yep, using his triceps. If you can, get your legs off the floor and that works your core as well. Yep, there it is. And at the end, just spin around and come back the other way. Right there, tricep being worked right there. Right here, good. Keep your arms straight in the top and get that moving, get that body moving. All right, cool, that is the L sit cage escape. Last but not least, side lateral delt raises, right? He's in a low plank position, so on his elbows, all right? And then he's gonna rotate his body up and then switch, right? The whole point right here, up, keep going. He's working his delts right here, I'm gonna show you right there. 
That's where you want to work on right there. So focus on the energy there. All right. So modification on your knees. Still drop your hips. Yep. Rotate that body up and really pinch that back muscle here. I'll show you when he flips over. Right there. This is the muscle you want to work on. All right. So a couple of versions there. Also, we'll remind you what those modifications are throughout the workout. But that is today's workout. All right, let's get a true warm-up in. We'll run in place for about 20 seconds, and then we'll get started. Watch them, guys. I'm going to turn up the music. You guys warm up. Let's go. Good. Keep it up. Keep it up. Get that body warm. Woo! All right, 10 more seconds. Here we go. Yeah! All right, upper body strength in five, four, three, two, one. All right, everyone. We're going to the upper body, upper back press. So get on your back. We're going to drive the elbows down. We're going to pinch your shoulder blades as much as we can. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Nice, Dan. Good. Boom. He's digging in his elbow to the ground and really squeezing his shoulder blades together. Almost like you're trying to imagine your elbows touching in the back. Right? His whole upper back is lit up. Good, Kelly. Nice. That's halfway. Nice. That core is activated as well. There it is. He's already sweating, guys. Good. Ten seconds. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep pinching and squeezing that shoulder blade in the back. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Excellent. Flip it around. Flip it around. We've got that reverse. Oh, I'm sorry. High roll plank. High roll plank. Let's go. On your hands and then on your elbows. Switching hands to elbows. Good. Core is engaged. That's right. Good, Dan. Make sure your shoulders are lined up with your elbows, right? Protect your shoulders. Good. Nice. Dan, can you show a modified version? Halfway, get on your knees in that plank position. All right, that's your modified version. Take your time, this is working your triceps, the back of the arm. 10 more seconds, hang in there. Good, Kelly, try not to sway your hips or open up your hips. You got three, two, one, boom, woo! That's round one, woo! Yep, round two, coming up. Here we go, in three, two, one, let's go. Good, Dan. Good. You can keep your elbows on the floor. Yep. Come back down and then drive. Good. Nice, guys. Yep. Keep your neck neutral. There it is. They're working. They're shaking. That's halfway. Good, Dan. Squeeze and dig down to the floor as much as you can. Good. That's right. Perfect. You got 10 seconds. Nice, Dan. Keep it up. Woo! That's it. That's it. Five. Good. Control each movement right now. 
just shaking your hips back up and down, but really control is focusing on driving up from that elbow to hand to activate their triceps. Good, Kelly. Keep that core engaged, guys. Don't let your back sag. That's halfway. Woo! Keep it up, keep it up. Nice, Dan. Come on. You got it. Come on, Kelly. Come on, Kelly. You got it. They're really working here. You got 10 seconds. Remember, you can drop to your knees if you need to modify. That's all good. Five, four, three. Come on. Two, one. Boom. That's round three of your first exercise done, guys. All right. 30 seconds to break. Woo. All right. Shake it out. We're going to head on to station two. We've got reverse snow angels and clench push-up release. All right. About 15 more seconds. Woo, shake it out, shake it out. How are you guys feeling? Feeling great. Woo. All right, all right. Ten more seconds. Get ready. Get ready for those reverse snow on your bellies in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Yep. So look down, Kelly. We'll crank your neck. Yep. Keep your neck neutral. Look down. We'll tuck your chin a little bit more. There it is. Yep. Thumbs are facing each other every time in the back and in the front. Good. Rotate, rotate. Thumbs facing each other each time. Good. Everything in the back should be lit up right now. That's halfway. Remember, if you need to break, you can break at the top here. When it comes back up, you can release everything. Come back down. Come back down. Come back. Yep. Release, relax, and then come back up. Good. Eight seconds. Your glutes, your hamstrings, back. Everything's fired up. You got five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right. Here comes your planche. Push up. Remember those, those fingers are pointing down. Here we go, three, two, one. Good, if you need to modify, you just gotta turn your hands to the front. Modification, one hand up, one hand down. Yep, right there. And then this is up. Finger up, finger up, finger up. Finger point it up, finger up, finger push it. There you go. Good, halfway. Nice dance. Remember, you can do a push-up release too. Can you get a push-up release dance? All the way, let go. Come back up, good. You can go to your knees as well, guys. Remember, always need to modify. You can do that. Five seconds. If you're not comfortable with this, do a regular push-up. And time. Woo! That's round one. Round one done. Round one done. They're sweating, guys. This is no joke. Who needs equipment? All right, round two. Remember, snow angles. Let's go. Let's go. Belly. Good. Fingers. Thumbs pointing each other. Thumbs pointing at the back. Good. Everything should be lit up in the back, guys. Activate and squeeze everything in the back. Good, Kelly. There it is. Good, Dan. Keep it up. Keep it up. They're shaking. Woo! That's more than halfway. If you need to take a break, drop down and get a second rest. Good. Ten seconds. Come on, guys. Good. You got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, back to those planche, push up, release if you need to. If you need to release, three, two, one, let's go. That's it. Remember those fingers are facing down, right? You gotta externally rotate. Yes, you see Dan right here. No. Taking a little release, break at the bottom, perfectly fine. She's working right there. Good, Kelly. You're doing the modified version. One hand up, one hand down. Halfway. You got it, guys. Come on. Get that belly button sucked into your spine. Your core should be nice and engaged. You got eight seconds. Hang in there. You got it. You got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! That's round two. Round three coming up, guys. They're working, and I know you are, too. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Reverse double angels. Remember to keep your neck neutral. Good. Everything's lit up back here. Good. Ten seconds. Hang in there, guys. Come down and take a break for a second if you need to. You got five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, all right. Last branch push-up for me right here. Last time. Let's go. Last one, last one. Let's bring it, guys. Woo! See those muscles working? Nice, Dan. Remember, suck that belly. 
Good. Hike up a little bit. That's it, guys. Finish strong here. Modify if you need to. You're getting tired. I get it. Halfway. Halfway. Woo! Come on, Bella. You got this. You got this. Let's go, Dan. Come on, Dan. Five. I'm sorry. That's ten. <laughs> sorry. I got too excited. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Shake that. Open up your body, close it up. Good, nice stand. Stretched out, 
Now contract it. Stretch it out. Good. Almost there. That's halfway. Switch sides. Switch sides. Nice stand. You see his feet? His toes are up on the wall. Yep, that's going to help him get leverage when he leans back. All right. Eight seconds. Come on, Kelly. Woo! Focus on the biceps. Do the work. You got five, four, three, two, one. Excellent work. That is round three in the books. You're done. Another station down. Woo! Shake that out. Look at this guy. This shirt was light green. Now it's dark green. <laughs> Good work, guys. I know you're hanging in there with us. Good work, good work. All right, next one, we've got doorway rows. All right, we're going to be at the doorway again. We're going to do rows right now. Our elbows are going to be close to the ribcage. We're just going to roll our body in. All right, here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Row. Yeah, plant your body down. Get leverage. Now he's not opening up his chest, right? He's just keeping his chest square to the ground, and then he's just rolling his body into the wall, right? Pinching your shoulder blades. Yep, that's it. Drive that elbow back, pinching your shoulder blades. That's halfway way down switching because the next exercise is just the other side. Good, his lats are fired up right there. Yep, if he gets a little lower, that's a little harder. Yes. Remember, elbows brushing your rib cage close to your side. Don't play your elbows. You got five. One, now the other side, he's gonna switch sides. All right, remember, watch his elbow, he's gonna be really close to his side. Here we go, we three, two, one, let's go. Good, you see that? He's driving his elbows back, bringing it back in, pinching his shoulder blades. He's gonna keep that elbow low and relax your traps. Don't try to crunch your neck, all right? Relax and just focus on the elbows going back behind mid butt. Good, that's halfway. Nice, Dan, you feeling it? Yep, he's feeling it. 15 seconds, you've got this guy, hang in there. Woo! Good, 10, 9, come on Kelly. He's sweating over there. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Shake that out, that's round 1, round 2 coming up. Woo! Shake it out, shake it out. Let's see this setup right here. Toes on top, right there. Leaning back, that's how you get leverage. Good, now he's going to pull himself in by pinching his shoulder blades, driving his elbows back, really activating the lats, right? Focus on the muscle that you're working on. It's not your arms, so focus on the elbows, going back and pinching your shoulder blades. Nice, Kelly, keep it up. That's halfway! Good, Dan. Nice. Right there, peak contraction right there. Good. 12 seconds, you got this, guys. Hang in there. Good, if you need to drop the weight, stand up taller. Right? Make it hot. Yep, this is the easier version. Stand up taller. All right, switch sides, switch sides. Here we go again. Other side, we're switching. In three, two, one, let's go. Yep, that's the easy version. He's standing up tall. His range of motion is less. Now drop it low to make it hard, Dan. Bend your knees. He's, he's moved his hands down as well. Yep. There it is, good. You're gonna get more weight that way. You got more body to pull. Good. Halfway, Kelly, keep it up. Woo! Good, focus on driving the elbow back and pinching that back, right? You're not working on your arms. You will work a little bit, but you wanna focus on the elbow going back behind midline. Five, four, three, two, one. That's end of round two. Round three coming up, this is it, guys. Last time through. Woo! Last time through, last time through. Here we go. Feeling that. All right? Three, two, one. Remember that chest should be tall when you're rolling in. Chest tall. Throw it in. Chest tall. Good. Nice, Dan. He's keeping his elbows close to his body. He's not flaring it. Yep. There it is. Good. Get low if you want to get, make this harder. Stand up tall if you want to make it easier. Nice, Dan. Open up your chest when you're rowing. Halfway. Come on, Kelly. Almost there. Almost there. Here we go, guys. In five, four, three, two, one. Last one. That's one. Really focusing on driving your elbows back, bringing your body to the wall, and holding it. That's 
keep your traction right there. Good. See his muscles working? Good. Keep those elbows in, guys. Keep those elbows in. Halfway! Come on, Kelly! Good. Almost there. Yep, get lower if you want to make it harder. Stand up taller if you want to modify to make it easier.
good. Control the elbow should be right underneath your chest, not out here. Align your joints, guys. Good core is still tight. Squeeze as you rotate up and open up your chest. That's halfway. You know, when you don't have weights, you gotta be super, super inventive. Think outside the box, all right? Um, so, but, you know, for the first week, no equipment, but we, we talked about this, guys. Let's try to get some weights at home, right? The only way you're gonna get those muscles is to overload, and that's to get some, some extra weight on your body, right? Um, I, we hope you had a good workout. Look at these guys. Yes, kick my butt today. <laughs> Dan, what do you think? Yeah. Tough, oh, yeah. right? Tough. And that is a testament that, you know, body weight is, there's nothing wrong with it, okay? If you find a way to work out, you're going to get a good one, all right? So, guys, um, that is going to wrap it up for today. That's our upper body strength. If you have any suggestions, recommendations, anything that we can improve on to make your experience better, bring it, right? We crave your feedback. It's value, so keep that up. We love that you guys are joining us virtually. We're doing our best to give you everything we have in our hands and resources out there. All right, so that is, up from up. That is it from us. Anything from you guys? All right, guys, oh, keep it up. Keep going. Woo! Let's go. Your turn. Yep. All right, guys, that is it from us. We'll see you next time.